Okay, so this is an interesting case. What really happens after this case is probably more interesting. This is a patient that came in with a chronic retinal detachment. Now, she knew before her cataract surgery that her retina was detached. We went ahead and had the cataract surgeon take the cataract out because it looked like a, almost an open funnel um, type of detachment on ultrasound. So cataract surgeon did a great job. Surprisingly, the retina was not that stiff. Um, we put a huge buckle on her, a 4050 tunneled all the way around. And inferiorly, we put two 106 elements under that 4050. So she has a giant buckle. And actually, that led us to be able to get her attached. And uh, we can see here that uh, first I use the cutter uh, over my break as I'm draining. That really helps if you've got some vitreous left over anteriorly and you're tr you know, having trouble with your soft tip trying to get through that vitreous. So you can just use your cutter and that mitigates any kind of vitreous blockage there and allows you to do a little vitrectomy under air, which is never a bad thing. Then we go to our soft tip, drain the patient flat. View's not great, but she is flat. Um, here we're lasering on one of the two 106s down below, which actually she had two tears down below, both of which fell on that 106. Going back and taking just a little more fluid uh, off from around the break. If there's any there, there's really not. And we drain her over the nerve. Now I show this only so you can see she is totally attached here. She's got this giant buckle. Her brakes are all on the buckle. And I thought we had a win in this patient. I always watch the oil go in the eye, and that's a real critical thing. Um, years back, uh, I didn't do that, and I had a, an infusion of oil into the suprachoroidal space. We were able to fortunately get out, but um, it never left me that you should always watch the oil go into the vitreous cavity. And I'm really glad that we did that here for what we see in part two. Suture your sclerotomies after you put in oil, even if it's 25 gauge, trim the buckle. Close the conge, and we thought we were going to have a win. Tune in for part two to see what happened to this patient. Thanks for watching.